Hi, this is Andrew Munson, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we are going to be introducing the SP80 by Spectra Precision. We will also have an unboxing video and a technical sales presentation by Joe Binder, the sales manager of Western North America for Spectra Precision products. The SP80 is a new GNSS receiver by Spectra Precision. This receiver features Z-Blade processing technology, which allows for the combination of any GNSS signal for a fixed position. The SP80 features the ability to communicate through Wi-Fi, SMS, and email, meaning the receiver has the ability to send updates to the user on its status at any time in a variety of ways. It comes equipped with anti-theft protections, so you won't have to worry about the receiver in a remote location. It will send a message to the user through email or SMS if it has been moved and provide coordinates to track the receiver. The receiver will emit an alarm and will lock down when moved, making it unusable until it has been unlocked by the owner. The SP80 also comes with E-level capability, ensuring accuracy. The SP80 comes with 1.5 gigabytes of storage for static data that is also expandable up to 32 gigabytes through the use of a memory card. There are two spots for batteries that are also hot swappable, essentially allowing the SP80 to run nonstop. The SP80 comes equipped with a 3.5G cellular modem that allows for the SMS communication and VRS connections. It is also capable of being equipped with CenterPoint RTX, further expanding the flexibility of this receiver. The UHF kit is an optional add-on that can turn your SP80 into a transmit radio as well. This is a 2 watt radio in the 410 to 470 megahertz range. The antenna will go inside the included rod, which helps protect the SP80 and radio. We will now show an unboxing video that shows what you will get with SP80, an optional UHF kit. This is the case that your SP80 will come in. It's a hard plastic case with a handle and two latches holding it shut. As we open it up, you'll also see that it comes with a soft case. And within that soft case, there is a partition held up by Velcro. When we open that up, you'll see that it provides additional storage with some extra pockets and some Velcro straps for your pole extensions. As we get further into the case, you'll see that it comes with a quick start guide along with uh, some general safety information. You get a standard battery charger that is able to charge two batteries at one time, both your total station batteries and your receiver batteries. It comes with your standard US charger along with some international chargers. You'll get a three inch extension to use on top of a tripod. You will get two receiver batteries with the SP80. You will also get a tape measure that measures in both tenths and inches. It comes with a mini USB to USB cable. And here is the SP80 itself. There's the faceplate with the three main buttons. The side is covered with some tough rubber that covers up the USB port. The other side also has the tough rubber covering the SD card slot and the SIM card slot. The soft case can be taken right out of the hard case if you would prefer to use that. And that is what comes with your SP80. The SP80 has the option to be upgraded to a UHF transmit receiver. This is a UHF kit that can be purchased. The kit will include a bag to carry the rod that is also included in the kit. The rod that comes with is a 2 meter fiberglass pole. If 
the pole comes in two pieces and is just screwed together. The antenna for the SP80 will actually go right inside of the rod. And because the rod is a fiberglass rod, this means that the radio signal will not be degraded even though the antenna is inside the pole. This also helps avoid damage to your SP80 and antenna as you use it. The kit will also come with a rod extension to go on top of your normal pole. This will allow the antenna still to go directly inside of the pole. The kit includes the level bubble for the pole, along with the Allen wrench used for the install of both the level bubble and the radio. And this is the radio that will be installed in the bottom of your SP80. Installation is simple and only uses four screws that can be taken in and out using the Allen wrench that's provided. The radio can transmit up to two watts And you can see that the radio will then screw right onto the pole that's provided, allowing the antenna to go directly inside of the pole. And this is your UHF kit. Hello, I'm Joe Binder with Trimble Navigation, and I'm going to go through the hardware configuration of the Spectre Precision SP80 GNSS receiver. It's a unique design on the receiver. A couple of things about it. Primarily, the radio design is set up where internally it's a modular radio that goes here. It's a 2 watt radio, send and receive. The antenna itself is actually designed to go into the pole. This is for the base setup. You've also got a pole that comes, a two meter pole that comes for a rover. On the base, there's a slot for the radio cable to go into should you want to utilize an external radio with a more powerful transmit rate. On the bottom, you'll also see we have two battery compartments. The batteries are hot swappable. It's designed that when you open the compartment, the battery will not fall out on you. You've also got your RS-232 port on the base. On the side we have a USB port, internally there is Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and on this side we also happen to have an SD card slot where you can put up to a 32 gigabyte card as well as your SIM card for any cellular connections you would like to do internally. The receiver is unique in that rather than just some lights for you, we've actually got a full display. The panel will tell you everything that's going on with the receiver how much memory you have internally available to you. As far as the current configuration of the receiver, if it's transmitting or receiving, it will tell you the frequency. Much information that we will go through at a later time where we've got a better display for you to see. Power button, scroll buttons, and then on the very back we have a height hook so that you can get an accurate elevation as far as a base setup for it. That is essentially the primary hardware setup on the Spectra Precision SP80. Key things with the Spectra Precision SP80 is the Z-Blade technology. Z-Blade technology allows for GNSS-centric capabilities. What does that mean? So all of the multi-constellation receivers on the market today, you have to have a minimum number of GPS satellites, and we augment that solution with the additional constellations that are available. With Z-Blade, there's no need to have any GPS satellites whatsoever. You can actually go into Survey Pro under the Constellation options and turn the GPS off and you will still be able to get a fix. This allows you to get fixes places that you would not be able to with any other receiver. Another unique feature on the SP80 is the radio module is actually a modular setup goes into the SP80 and is well balanced and centered in the very middle of the receiver. The antenna comes down and goes through the included rod. There's a two meter rod as well as a rod for a base tripod mount setup. And that will allow you to get the antenna safely out of the way of any brush. It won't get caught. And it actually is in a glass fiber rod that helps to amplify that radio signal. 
240 channels. That's plenty to get everything that's up there. It has built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a 3.5G cellular modem. As far as the performance, this receiver was the first receiver on the market to actually beat the one centimeter standard horizontal accuracy. We're at eight millimeters on this unit and 15 millimeters vertical. As far as post-processing, you're looking at a three millimeter. And this receiver will work as an RTK network rover, RTK UHF basin rover, N-trip direct IP rover, CSD mode or cell to cell, as well as just a static post-processing type receiver. It has E-level. This is where we've got a leveling module inside of the receiver itself, giving you a more accurate position than a rod vial will because your rod vial is going to go out of level on you. It's also a heads-up display on the data collection display itself on Survey Pro. You have the ability to go with VRS as well as your base radio and work both of them at the same time. It will actually give you the best solution of those two to give you what we call backup RTK. We also have the ability to utilize this as a bridge. So if you have one receiver that is on the VRS, you can relay that information from the rover that you're connected to the VRS, relay that information via the radio to additional rovers that are on the job site. You can utilize the SIM card internally and monitor and configure this via the SIM card or via the Wi-Fi. You have the ability, again, to do this via SMS. You have the, the options where you can turn on and off raw data logging, set antenna height. This is very convenient if you're going to set up the base and other crew members going to do that. You don't have to have a data collector with the base unit to set up the antenna height and have it start logging data. You could do so with your phone. It has a password prompt that if you wish to use that, you can have it set so that no one is going to utilize this receiver on its own uh, when, you're, when you don't want it to be used, that is. As far as this password, you can also have this set up for the anti-theft, which we'll talk about momentarily. This receiver has the ability to get via the IP a RTX center point service, which is a uh, Trimble offering that allows you to get down to four centimeter horizontal accuracy virtually anywhere in the world. And that correction is provided via satellite. That is an additional fee, but it, this receiver is capable of that option. On the anti-theft, when you have your SIM card in the receiver itself, you can set the radius that you want to uh, keep this thing secure within. Say it's a three meter radius. Obviously, as an autonomous position, you can't put it down uh, too tight. If the receiver is moved outside of that location, it will start beeping, letting the thief know that it's in anti-theft mode. You can see by the picture here that it will warn him visually as well as audibly. And you can see examples of the text message as well as an email message that you will receive every minute. You can set up to five text messages as well as five email addresses uh, to receive this. And it will let the re, uh, uh, give its broadcast position again every minute unless someone pulls the batteries. The only way to turn this off is to know what the password is. If someone puts the batteries back in, it will rebroadcast its position. Um, hopefully, the idea is uh, with the note, with the anti-theft note as well as the alarm, the thief will just drop it and change his mind. Uh, what you'll see here in the next few slides are examples of the display itself. Again, we have a full display rather than just a couple of lights. I won't read each of these. I will give you an opportunity here to pause the, the video if you would like to go through them, and we will go in more detail on these in training videos. Memory card information, system, your positioning for both the rover and the base, an example of what it's showing you. Uh, the RX for receiving on the rover, TX for transmitting on the base, shows you not only frequency, but the radio mode that the radio is being broadcast and receiving in. Modem information on your Wi-Fi, the ATL recording, that is uh, essentially a, a, like the black box, if you will. That will allow any engineers to know what exactly is going on with the receiver should you run into any issues. 
memory management. It does have one and a half gigabyte internally at a 15 second update rate that's about a year's worth of static data. You can put a 32 gigabyte SD card internal as well if uh, a year's worth of data is not enough for you. Battery, we have plenty of battery information for you. Again, you have two battery slots, they're hot swappable, and it will go and utilize the battery with the least power first so that you can uh, drain those batteries and, and manage your battery power easily. So the Spectra Precision SP80, uh, it is utilizing the 6G ch chipset. As far as the Z-Blade, again, that's the, the main thing on this receiver that makes it the most valuable and usable for you in the field, what it really means to you. You'll be able to get points where you can't with other receivers. Very well connected with all different communication modes, and it's a very unique design. Glass fiber housing, uh, the, the dual batteries, and the modular radio make it uh, very flexible for you in the field. In summary, the SP80 is a complete GNSS receiver capable of being used in many different ways. It uses the newest GNSS technology that allows you to work in areas you never could before. It features a tough, impact-resistant design, and the inside the rod antenna makes it an even tougher design. The SP80 is compatible with Survey Pro and Fast Survey, making it easy to add to your existing equipment lineup. That concludes our Tech Talk on the SP80 by Spectra Precision. I hope you found this video helpful and will join us in the future for more Tech Talks. Call one of our salesmen to set up a demo and ask any other questions you may have. Thank you.